Today we intend to show you the difference between hard and soft water and its cleaning capabilities. If we take two samples of soft and hard water and then two washing up bowls which are identical in size and then using a bar of everyday soap, this is pure and simple soap, no perfume on it or anything. Um, what we do, pour the soft water into the bowl, followed by the hard water of equal amount so that everything is similar. We can then take the bar of soap and if we start with the hard water and just rinse our hands in the hard water. Put plenty on, give it a really good scrub. If you notice straight away, the soap isn't producing much lather and it is quite, um, quite difficult to wash it. While you're rinsing off as well, it doesn't rinse very well, the water's becoming very murky. But there's also a little bit of friction in there as well it's not like a smooth sort of feeling so we take the soap again and then we wash it in the soft water and almost immediately you notice that the soap starts to lather up and if you look in the bowl there's bubbles being produced from even just where it's from dripping down off the hands um, so it does produce a lot more bubbles and when you're rinsing off it rinses so easily difference between the two, murky water where the hard water was whereas when you go on to the soft water there's plenty of bubbles and that will actually keep producing if I take some bubbles from the soft water and put it into the hard water they die immediately the mineral content of that water just kills the bubbles but look I can carry on producing bubbles just by that little bit of soap what was left in there so again take the bubbles out put them in dies immediately so soft water uses less